Busted Live. I'm your host, Barry Cooper. What are you doing still awake? What's going on, freaks and geeks? You're still awake. It's 3 p.m. for me, which means it's about 3 a.m. for you. Don't you know the rule in life? Nothing good happens after 2 o'clock, except, of course, listening to your favorite streamer. But that's true. He is a valuable, valuable life hack. Nothing good happens after 2 a.m. So you get out of the club about midnight. You get something to eat and sober up till about one, and then you get home and get in bed by two. Not even threesomes are good for you after two o'clock. They go wild too. Nothing good happens after two. That's when most people are arrested. That's when most fights happen. So get your asses home and be in bed by two o'clock. You are not going to believe this next this video I picked out for you. I was watching it last night, and I, my heart started racing. I'm like, I have to cover this today. Because this, this next video shows a huge ideological change in policing and huge ideolo ideological, ideological change in, in universities. So this is a university professor resisting arrest. We'll talk about it as it goes. Let's watch it and see what happens. So you need to let go of his stuff. I must, am I Walk away right now. I already said I was going to go. I actually have to teach a class in an hour. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. After okay. a certain amount of time, we're going to get a yeast infection. After a certain amount of time so, after that, the car is going to have urine in it. Close the doors. This channel is for educational and news information purposes. All people being arrested are innocent until proven guilty. All crimes are allegations. In September of 2023, a preacher that runs a YouTube channel named after himself, Ricky Castor, was preaching at University of Wisconsin-Madison when a triggered liberal assistant professor couldn't help but to stop and brag about an abortion she had, then denying their request to let go of their mic cord. This caused the campus police to interject and tell the professor to let go of the cord. She responded with entitlement and aggression, which the police responded by handcuffing her and taking her to the ground. Okay, so that's the back story. Let's give it a watch. That's the preacher. He's the preacher preaching on campus. You get a job. Specifically about abortion. That's the PhD. Those are the ones teaching the college students in the U.S. That's her. We want everybody to be right. We want God. We want you to know know God and love God. Why did you call? We want you to know God and love God. God loves you, young man. God loves you, man. What does that mean? He hit off his hat. God loves you. God loves you, man. It, it is the love of God. Or why you're angry. Or why you're mad. I want you to note something really quick. There is something that gets under my skin, that gets in my craw, that just geeks me out and drives me crazy. And that is called passive aggression. Passive aggression is aggression, but it comes to you with a smile and sweet words. I can't stand passive aggressive people. They are more dangerous than overtly aggressive people. I would I would rather be punched in the face than have a full onslaught of passive aggression being launched at me. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, young lady? And I I'm gonna tell you something else. Can I tell you something else. I had an abortion two years ago and I don't regret it at all. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus, and I'm so happy. Okay. I'm so grateful. Okay. And I'm a professor at this university. Okay. And I make more money than you. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus, and I'm so happy about it, and I'm a professor at this college, and I make more money than you. <laughs> okay. okay. I get it. You had an abortion. But do you have to, like... Do you have to describe it like that and be so proud? Uh, uh, <laughs> you get it. Okay. And what else? What's your name? That's none of your business. I, I mean, we're being cordial here. You, you hear? Yeah, got my we mic. Are. We're being cordial, right? Yeah, we're being cordial. We're being cordial. So, my, my name is Ricky Castor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I mean. Nice to meet you. Is that you just came up here to tell us your business without giving us your name? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll pray for you. Okay. We'll pray to the Lord save you. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Um, whatever, I wish I knew your name so we could know where to pray. 
Well, either either way, either way, mm -hmm. your soul. Either way, your soul. Kind of an asshole. What 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 makes me that? You kind of ruined everybody's lunch. You're like, oh, sorry. You took the cord out. Yeah, I took the cord out. Yeah, because okay. you won't give me my bike mic back. Please, okay. please give me my mic back, please. Please, young lady. Thank you. Thank you. Have a have a good day. Okay, you're not stronger than me. All right. God bless you. God bless God. you. Hey, hey, officer. This young lady went. She tried oh, to rip I'm my stuff up. Oh, I'm assaulting her. She's, she's assaulting. She's taking his stuff. Assault, Come here. I have it on video. Yeah. I'm assaulting him. Yes. Why, you're, you're very angry I'm about your abortion. Him? Yeah. Let go of my stuff. Okay. Come if on. I get arrested right now, I would literally laugh at that. Hi. No, it's not. Okay. University let police. Let you have the let it go? I do. Are you going to ask nicely? Would you please let it go? Yeah. My name is Barry. Am I assaulting him by holding this? So you need to so let go, right to let go now, of his stuff. Under arrest. I must, am walk I assaulting away right him by now. holding I already said I was So it's not your property. Yes, ma'am. Let's walk away. Am I assaulting him by holding this clipboard? You are causing the video. You do not do that. Walk away now. Please walk away. Now's your chance to walk away. We'll go talk, but we're going to do it over here. Take your bra in there. Can I ask a question? Of course. Let go right now. Let go right now. Let go right now. Yes, I'm going to walk away. Let go right now. Yes, no. Yes or no. You're under arrest. Let go right now. Let go right now. Yes, no. You're under arrest. So she's depriving this man of his property, taking his mic, and won't let go. That's after she got on stage and interrupted him by explaining that a fetus felt that she pulled the fetus out of her uterus to try and justify abortions. Whatever side you're on about that, this is not how you handle it. And don't forget, she makes more money than him. Can you tell? We will in just one moment. Right now, you're under arrest. Can you let so me? My, name, my name's Barrett. I work for UW Police Department. Please stop. Please stop. What? Please stop resisting. I'm going to drop my AirPods. Okay. I'm going to drop my AirPods if you don't let me please, put it in my case. Please. Let me put my AirPods in my case. Please put in your pocket. Let me put my AirPods in my case. We can put them. Don't reach in your pocket. Don't reach your pocket. Where's my AirPods? We'll help you get them. We'll help Please stop walking away. Please. I'm not walking away. Okay. Listen. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am. You guys are wasting my time. Ma'am. So right now you're under arrest. You, if you give me your AirPod, I will put in a case. Where's your case? I don't know where my AirPods are. I don't know where my AirPod case is. I just want to look for it. Okay, you can't right now, okay? Okay, can you look okay. for it in my pockets? If you want it. It's probably this pocket. Right here? Try it. Is it on a, like on a strap of some kind? I'm looking for my iPad case. It, it gets worse. I don't know. Okay. okay. Do you want me to look for it? Yes, because okay. I don't want my battery right okay. now. So I see you get one eye in your pod, your pod in your wallet, maybe by yourself? I don't know where it is. My baby in my pockets. Okay, how about this? Okay. How about this? I'm going to I'm gonna pick up your stuff. Is that okay? I put it yes. in the bag. Okay. You, here, would you just hold on? Yeah, I need you to stay out of your pockets, though. I need you to stay out of your pockets. I need you to stay out of your pockets. I'm going to sit down. She's going into her pockets like she's got drugs. I'm gonna sit down. You need to stop doing that. You need to stop, stop resisting me. I'm not stop. Resisting. I'm just making myself comfortable. I'm just making myself comfortable. This hurts. And I don't want to hurt it. Stop grabbing me. Stop grabbing me. Gordon, you are hurting me. Stop stop I'm not resisting. Oh, you just get it, uh, pick it up, getting out there, there, resisting. I'm not resisting. Then stop. I'm not resisting. You are. You are. Thank you. Let's let's go to your squad. Do you have a case in your squad? Uh, yeah. Okay, I do. Wait. I do. Five three of a responding unit to come to front of Memorial Union with uh, Mark Squad. So, where, where do you think it is? This pocket? This pocket? Oh, I found it. I found it. Here it is. Here you go. I can help you put it in there. You want it in there? 
Other one. Again, one three, responding yet, so slow down, just keep coming. Good to see you in the house, Matty Fresh. Glad you landed in here. The Venom inside. What's that? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Doobie 12. Here, do you want to sit up? Do you want to sit up? Yes. Okay. You're the one who pushed me to the ground. Yeah, so are you going to stop resisting? You're the one who pushed me to the ground. Yeah, because you keep resisting. You asked me if I wanted to get up. Are you? That's really rude. So no, it's not. No, Boardman. That's really rude. That's really rude. But going up on a stage, interrupting a preacher to talk about you pulling a fetus out of your uterus and then calling him an asshole and then taking his property and not giving it back isn't rude. Oh, but I forgot. She makes more money than him. So there. Push me to the ground and then yeah, absolutely. Get up. I, no. No, we're not going to yes, keep you on the ground. Of course. Okay, I we're done talking. We're done Portland, talking. Of course, I want to get up. Okay, let's get up there. Of course, I'm a human being. So let's walk this way. Can you adjust my jacket? Sure. How's that? Is that better? It's better, but okay. can you unruffle it? Like the hood? Mm -hmm. That's better, but unruffle it for me. Unruffle it. Where are my AirPods? Your stuff. You're being rude. Let's go this way. It gets worse. What's your first name? I'm Adam. Can you just tell me your first name? Why do you need my first name? I don't need it. It's just a common courtesy. I'm Adam. I'm really upset that you pushed me on the ground more than I was supposed to. So, like, I don't really want to talk to you. That's okay. You don't have to. I explained to you that you were just making me uncomfortable and I was trying to adjust my arm so that it was comfortable. Okay. And That's not uh, no, what I experienced in any I'm way, shape, or form. I'm just explaining my feelings because I was the one who was pushed to the ground just now. Okay. Car Thief News says gang members doing what gang members do. Yeah, but here they're not acting like gang members. They're protecting freedom of speech and theft. This woman stopped this man's freedom of speech and then took his microphone. Now, unless you give us permission to start slapping people for that, but you can't do that in the U.S., so the cops must intervene to get the microphone back. Yeah. So, holding somebody's cord. when you dug your fingernails into me, and you kept grabbing my hand. So when you, kept, you even him, after I told you so to stop, you, see, you kept grabbing my hand. Look at what's on my arms right now. So who's more bound? Was it you right. holding your arm? However, when I tell you right to stop now? doing that, you need to stop doing that too. Yeah, yeah let's. We're gonna do another. We'll do another search. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go over here. Oops. Thank you. I was surprised to see that this was university police that arrested this professor. Not city cops, not your sheriff's department, not the feds, university cops. Would one of you get the name of the guy, the, the gentleman who is doing the speaking on the microphone? Try to get his name? Yeah. I'll go with Gertrude. Nope. Excuse me. Hi. Here. Separate your feet. Now they're trying to pat her down to check all her pockets and she keeps backing up, resisting. That's why they've got her pinned against that car like that. In my, my opinion, they should have a woman do this. This is the only thing I didn't like about this whole video that the cops did. Men, I'm old school, but men just shouldn't be searching women like that. They should call a female officer to deal with her. Or you're going to need a couple female officers to deal with her. Venom Inside said she did get fired. Really? Would you Google that real quick? We'll see. Mia will fact check that. Like, university professor fired after resisting arrest? Stop right why now. Stop resisting. Stop pulling away. Stop pushing. Why are you yelling at me? Stop going in your pocket. Stop what? Why? Why? But, but but why are you yelling at me? I didn't I didn't do anything. That's that passive aggression that just uh, makes me sick. And that's a really that's a really powerful technique that the woke people like to use 
because they like to claim everybody else is aggressive. So no matter what, they try to stay calm with that passive aggression. Their eyes start flashing. What are you talking about, baby? All the stuff that happened over there and the stuff that you're continuing to do. All right, we'll put her in my pocket. All right, get in the car. Get in the car. Sit down. what's your problem? Scooch over. Don't move. Or what? I don't know what university. Thank you. Mia Googled university professor fired after resisting, and, and there's a lot of them that popped up. Did you get scratched? Uh, not enough to go through the skin. Really. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Right, this is well, the part I can't believe. Now we got to think about what we're going to do. This didn't have to be anything. But are you uh, going to transport her anywhere? Because I don't need to go through this if we're not taking her anywhere. Yeah, you don't need to go through it. Okay. So, so let's think about what's appropriate. Um, we should probably talk to those guys, right? Yep. I asked uh, Jeff, I think, to go grab his contact information. At least. Okay. Maybe we can ask him on two. Is it University of Wisconsin get Madison? Or we can go get a statement. Yeah. Thank you, Venom Inside. Do you want to deal with her, and I'll go get a statement from okay. him? Okay. I mean, and are you thinking at this point, maybe DC resisting? Disorderly conduct. Got a couple things. We don't have to pile stuff on her for sure, but right. um, she deserves a ticket. Yep. Um, so, yeah, if you want to do that, I'll stay here with her. I would say, um, we, what I think, um, what I think is appropriate is the disorderly conduct with him. Yeah. The reason that we detained her was all of the obstructing and resisting. Right, violence. right. Uh, but that is something we can verbally warn for. I agree. And we'll find out if he wants to press charges on Sounds the disorderly good. conduct. That is something, put me on big screen, that is something we can verbally warn for, resisting arrest. Where's that coming from? I've never seen that in my life. Not one single time. Maybe, maybe I remember back when I was a cop, a man resisted arrest, and he had some, uh, some medical problems that we didn't want to pay for by putting him into the jail. So we let him go and issued a warrant for his arrest so we could go pick him up after he healed. But I've never seen resisting arrest, but we're just going to give her a ticket, especially after them having to put her on the ground like that. We're just going to give her a ticket. There's some kind of reverse discrimination going on. Let me tell you, she's going to start claiming racism here in a moment. The people now who are screaming racism are the most racist people you'll ever meet. Let me get one thing really straight. I am for human rights, not specifically trans rights, not specifically heterosexual rights or black rights or white rights, human rights. We are all humans. But this trans right movement, this woke movement is hiding behind a mask of human rights and that's not what it's about. It's about blurring gender lines convincing a population that there's not male or female, and they're taking it as far as um, normalizing pedophilia. In fact, they have their own cult language. We're not allowed to call them pedophiles anymore. They want us to call them MAPs, minor attracted persons. So see, it's this sick thing that's to end game, destroy the family unit. So the communist which you're under a communist president right now. And New York and the blue states are communist. This is communism right here. This is what you see. A professor acting like this. And she's not the only one. That's who they're hiring. And that's who's been teaching our young people for 10 years. Which is why you have all these radicalized, queer, gender, cross, LGBTQ, plus one, two, three... I don't G-A-F. <laughs> that's where all that's coming from. And the idea is to destroy American culture, which is the family unit, to wipe out Christianity, to usher in this new woke communism, Marxism, whatever you want to call it. You haven't seen the best part yet. Let's give this a watch. Yeah, she's fired. She was fired? Yay, she got fired. Okay, good. 
Sounds good. Thank you. So just because of the interaction that happened, uh, if you want to, we were hoping you, you, I could identify you. Yes, sure. Okay. okay, what's your first name? Ricky R. 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 You do want to hear the lecture and the cop-splaining that goes on when they let her out of the car and inform her she's just getting a ticket. That's the only question I asked, and that's the whole reason. No. I Here disagree. we go. Absolutely. I pulled you away from him, yes. Just hold on one second. Hold on. Word, man. Yes. You don't have to touch me. It's okay. Is that one? Is that it is for our safety right now. Yeah, well, I take them off. Okay, we're good. Yeah. So what happened was this guy gave me a microphone, right? And then when he took the microphone back, I was holding on to the cord, and this smaller guy was like, that's assault. And then you that's came not, and yeah. I said, Oh, no, no, I'm not saying no, he didn't say that. Yeah. Boardman, this go is ahead, what happened. Ahead. I'm just explaining what happened. Okay, yes, I said, Boardman, is it... Now she's trying to control the narrative. That's what she's doing. Cops do this a lot. You know, after arrest, you see cops all group up and go, okay, this is what happened, this is what happened. They're trying to put it in everybody's mind what really didn't happen. We call it cop-splaining. Well, she's woke-splaining right now. It's cuckoo in a minute. Assault, if I hold this cord, yes or no? And you said, I'm not answering that question. I said, can you answer the question? And you said, you're under arrest. That's all that happens is because, okay. like, I just... So I disagree, but incorrect. say that one more time. Say that one more time. I don't like when people are wrong. It's incorrect right. to say that I'm being charged with assault. Or that I'm going You're not to being charged with assault. No. Because I'm holding a court that they gave me. You're not so being charged with assault. that's the reason why I don't think that this charge is going to stick or anything. Okay. It's also the reason why I was really frustrated with okay. the interaction. Because okay. it literally wouldn't have happened from the beginning if you had just paused for a moment to ask me what was it. Okay. There so was how, no moment so, where you stopped to ask what was happening. You just mm -hmm. pivoted to, oh, this did I ask you to let go? This put, yes. Did I? Okay. Yes, and I said, what's going on? Let, let me know what's going on. Can you answer this question? Did I ask I said, you again to let, let go? go can you did I ask you again to let go? I'll let go, but can you answer this question? Oh, okay. Did I ask you again to let go? Really, like, we were here for 30 minutes when it could have been over completely if you had just answered the question and said no. Okay. Why it would have, it would have like, been over I, if you would have let go, for sure. If you would have let go and walked away. So we can certainly agree to, or disagree about certain things, right? But if you had walked away... I think we can agree. But if you would have walked away, then I definitely would have done nothing. I'm telling you that there are multiple there. ways to de-escalate a situation. And I'm telling you the easiest way to de-escalate de that situation was for you to admit that they were in the wrong. How, how were they in the wrong? Because they were telling me that I was assaulted. No, that, they were but, telling Adam that okay. they were assaulting them yeah, but, by having but, their opinions sure. their Can you just go up there and move me over? Et cetera, like that. But, and that was because, then that's the reason why they called you over So the, the guy, because you didn't have my back and because you kind of like let me, like, I don't know, them say like, I was assaulting can you move me over? them for holding this cord. And instead of just answering the yes or no question, pivoted to you know, arresting, and I understand that you think that, oh, you could have just walked away, but it was important in that context. Oh. Like, you understand the context. Wait, like, wait, you're, you're not just stupid. Like, you understand the political context that was happening there, Absolutely. which is you that these to. people are against people's reproductive justice health. And it's the optics yeah. of the fact that you, I mean, it wasn't like, it wasn't like I was seen, uh, interested in seeing a lot of territory. I just wanted you to name for them what the limits of my rights were. Okay. I knew what my rights were and I wanted you to name my rights for them and you didn't do that. Okay. And that's the reason why I decided to not let go of the court. Okay. Do you understand that? So I understand, I hear what you're saying. All right, I do hear what you're saying. Do you know what I said to the guy, there was the younger guy, is that one you're talking about that was saying that you were assaulting? Is it the younger guy that was standing out there? Do you know what I said to him? I don't think I heard him. I said, get the hell out of here because it, had, it was none of his business. Right? What what he was saying when he said that you were assaulting him is not true. I did not see you. It won't hang on, I'll just stop, stop, just a second. I didn't see that. 
I don't believe that that happened. How do you get that box back there? I don't believe that you were. And I told him to get out of there because it was none of his business. And I specifically said, this is none of your business to that guy. Now, he didn't agree with me, but, and that's okay. But I told him to leave because it was none of his business. And he, he was wrong. When you get that box there was there, not can you just drag it bigger? I agree with you on that point. I do. So that's really, was that in my argument? Was no, with interact, guy, interact. Was with the younger guy saying that somebody else put things in his hat off was assault, calling anyone who would like to critique them the assault, and then they come to me saying I was assault even though the person who gave me his microphone, naming that as assault as well. You come up, you arrest me, giving credence to their point. That's all that happened. Well, I can tell you this, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not giving credence to the, the one guy who was out in the crowd, right? Not, you might say that my actions by what I did automatically did that. I hear you. I hear you. I do. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. I disagree with what he was saying. He was wrong. There was not an assault occurring. However, I think you could have named it at the moment. Well, you know what? Then for that, I... what, what what is this goobly gobbly psycho babble? I like what somebody in the comment said. Pseudo intellectualism. What is th like pseudo intellectual? Pseudo means fake, right? Intellectual. Yeah, this is fake intellectualism. There's absolutely zero logic. She's blame shifting. Like nothing is her fault. She's blame shifting everything. It's this guy's fault. It's that guy's fault. She started the whole the whole shebang. And I don't understand. These cops are like explaining to her like they're in trouble. Like she's, she's going free and she resisted arrest. She's not going to jail. She should just go back to class. I do apologize for that. I understand what you're saying. But when I am in this situation and I, I need you to let go and you multiple times tell me you're not going to. And I did wait a second. I asked you to let go. Workman, I really wanted you to listen to what was happening. So I was having a conversation with the black guy and with that younger guy, and then you came over, and like I was like, I really wanted you to hear what was happening. You weren't hearing what was happening. I wasn't assaulting anybody. I wasn't holding your microphone. I'm not saying you were holding the microphone. Yeah. Yeah, you weren't assaulting anybody, but you were depriving another person of their property. That's called theft. That's called theft. Like I noticed that he has the microphone up to my face while I'm talking to that guy. What are you what are you thinking? I'm just wondering if you understand why I'm frustrated by this interaction. I'm frustrated by like I don't understand why you threw me on the ground. Okay, so you want like, me to walk through some of it? You just got a citation? I just got a citation. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Um like I don't understand why you threw me on the ground. I don't understand why there was no moment to like listen to. Like there was no space for you okay. to actually listen to me. Okay. She Thank she you. doesn't understand it. I promise you, this reminds me of the fights. You know, I'm on my fourth marriage. I was married 15 years, and then two years. That was like a long bad date. And then I was married 11 years, and now I've been married eight years. And my past three marriages. That's exactly how my wife would argue. Like I don't understand. Like I don't. Why are you so angry? And da 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 da. It makes me cuckoo because there's no logic to it. There's no justice to it. It's cuckoo. Can you say cuckoo? Listening to you, at you, any moment in the, sure. in, the, in the interaction, sure. there was no space for me to say, "Hey, this is how I want you to feel. This is how I feel. This is what happened to me." Sure. There's no way for me to have. It was just you're under arrest. Okay. So do you do you want me to tell you? You can disagree with every word I say, but do you want me to tell you my thought process? Yes or no? You don't. You can say no. That's you can okay. Explain your thought process. Uh, you don't have to agree. At, if at the point, if at the end of this conversation, and you tell me your thought process, and you hear that thought process, and I hear that thought process, and no one in this conversation changes the way they interact in future interactions, I'm not going to feel satisfied. I understand but that. Can, but you can go ahead and tell me. I understand that. Process. You hear that? She's like, well, if you say your side and I say my side, and then in the future nobody changes their actions, I don't want to be part of that. She needs to take different actions next time. She's the one who has a lesson to learn here. She's a PhD, for Christ's sake. Listen, I don't care if you got so many letters after your name, they call you the alphabet. PhD doesn't mean you're not crazy. 
Have you ever met a PhD that uh, you could socialize with? Like, if you think about it, like you were out partying tonight. It's 3 a.m. At your party tonight, were there any PhDs there? I, I don't remember ever, ever seeing a PhD out in the wild. And the PhDs I did meet were all cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. This is why. Okay, okay. So my thought process when I'm, we're walking away, right? You're standing up, right? I am telling you that you're under arrest. I'm holding your hand, right? But we are walking away from the stage, right? Kind of into the grassy area. When you start digging in your pockets and reaching for things, and we're just, just hear me out. I, I know that you had an AirPod, and I asked you, you want me to get your AirPod case, right? Did I ask you that? And did did I get your AirPod case out and put it in there? I did, right? Okay. So when you're reaching in your pockets, that creates a dangerous situation for me because I don't know what you're reaching for, right? I haven't met you, right? I've, have I met you before? Actually, yes. Well, okay. we have today, but not before no, today. No, yes, before. Okay. Okay. I don't. I, I don't remember meeting you before. Anyway, um, so when you're reaching in your pockets, that's creating a dangerous situation. You're not listening to what I'm asking you to do. Now, you told me you were frustrated. Okay. I hear you. I get that. I get that. I do. But you are creating a dangerous situation. The more you pull away, the more you reach in your pocket, the more I have to get you in handcuffs to stop that dangerous situation. The, I'm, you might not believe me, but the absolute last thing in the world that I want to do is arrest you today. I wanted nothing to do with that. Okay, I came out here because there's two speakers, right? And my job is to make sure that people are safe when they come out and listen to speakers. If there's going to be opposing viewpoints. That's totally fine. That's what our Constitution allows. The last thing I want to do is to arrest somebody. You might not believe me. I want nothing to do with that. That's not why I do this job. So, once you're in handcuffs, then you know, and, and you're struggling with me, do we stop and then say, hey, listen, do you want your coat? Do you ask me to pull your coat? Do you ask me to pull your hood away? I pull your hood away. So, I mean, I feel like, is it possible that I could have asked you and given you more time to explain what? Yeah, could have. Yeah, I, I agree. But at the time when you're not letting go and then you're struggling with me, that's not a good, safe time for me to do that. Mm -hmm. One thing that I wanted to yes. name is that you said that the reason why you pushed me down onto the ground is because I was looking at my pockets and the part of the interaction where I was looking at my pockets had already been resolved, right? Remember, I was looking at my, looking into my pockets for the AirPods, and then you decided, you guys started looking into my pockets for all the things. The reason why you pushed me down was because I told Erwin that he was hurting me, that the, that the way that he positioned my arm was hurting me and that I needed to move it. So I moved it this way, and then he signaled to you that I was, and then he, and then you pushed me on the ground. So when you pushed me on the ground, I was not looking, I was not grappling in my pocket to any kind of that. So again, it was another moment of like not me being able to express myself, things escalating when it didn't need to escalate. I wasn't fighting you guys. I was just trying to get comfortable, all this sort of stuff. I understand. Like it just means violence. Like it's like uh, oh, if you had waited five seconds and had a conversation instead of pushing me down on the on so the, when on you're the ground, reaching in your pockets and you're but, not uh, but okay. Those are separate so yeah. So separate so, so uh, you know I'll say it. We're not supposed to say what I'm about to say. She is getting special treatment from law enforcement because she's black and she's a woman and her status as a professor. But we're all supposed to be treated equally, right? If that was a dude, they'd be carting him off. No question. Parts of the narrative. I don't, I don't agree. I was and the body camera is going to show something I was Oh, yes, and everyone is recording. Uh, I know. That's yeah. the only I reason why I was so comfortable in the interaction is because at least four people were recording the interaction, especially after you guys pushed me down. But I do know what happened, which is that I stopped looking in my pockets after you guys told me to stop looking okay. in my pockets. So I'm going to explain your citation. If you want to keep talking, that's fine. I know you've got a class. Okay, right let me fast forward. It's just more It's just more pseudo-psycho-woke babble. But now watch when her group of friends come up. Oh, my God. Or bystanders. Look at here. Oh, my goodness. Here we go.
feel, and then the way that you redescribe the action invisibilized me again. Well, Do you know how that makes me so frustrated? So I'd be pissed if I were you, if you don't think you're being heard. So here's the problem. So I hear you, okay? I really do. But there are elements that I don't agree with. And so, and I know there's elements of what I say that you don't agree with. And that's fair, right? There's things that I did or that I'm saying that you don't agree with. Is that true? Yes. Right. Okay. There's things that you have said that I don't quite agree with either. But I am listening to you. But, but you can't do that. You have to agree with the cult or you're wrong. Ossifer, didn't you know that? It's past 3 a.m. so we can call them ossifers, right? Got her buzz on. It's important for me to listen to you because you are a member of our community and I want to hear what you have to say. But I wanted you to hear me 30 minutes ago. I understand that, right? And and we might have a difference of opinion about why I did what I did. But I did explain to you why I did what I did at that point. Again, I, you don't, I understand that you don't agree with me. And I respect that you don't agree with me. But I am telling you why I did what I did. And that doesn't change that you're not going to agree with me, right? Okay, I get that. I get that. Are you okay? I'm upset, but I'm okay. You don't have to be here. Okay, what happened? Um, they arrested me earlier because uh, one of the abortion people put their hand in my hand and said that I was assaulting him. Um, he asked me to let go of the cord. I told him to say, tell them that it wasn't assault. He said, they don't let go of the cord. Why did you yeah, get thrown down? Um, they threw me down on the ground for like resisting arrest. Resisting time arrest. Yeah. And why were you being arrested? I was being arrested because this one of the, the anti-abortion person put them his microphone in the hand and then wanted to, me to take get it back, and I was I didn't get it back. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's called stealing. So you were under arrest for stealing. You were thrown on the ground for resisting, and you make more money than he does. So y'all, y'all, you were one of the officers that kicked her down on the ground. Yes. I did hold her down while I put handcuffs. Yeah, I did hold her down. Yep. What was the justification? So, can, is it okay for me to respond to their questions or not? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure because you're an adult, and I'm not going to talk about anything else unless you. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, welcome to Late Night with Barry Cooper. Never get busted live. None. Your business says I didn't catch the beginning. Have to rewind. Where is that? Yeah, at the very beginning, when she's on the stage, she announces that she jerked a fetus out of her uterus, that the preacher was an asshole, and that she made more money than he did. Say it's okay. All right. So. Um, we don't completely, her and I don't completely, and I'm sorry, can I ask you, is it appropriate to call you doctor or ma'am, or what is it? Doctor's better. Okay, so the doctor and I were over by the, by the stage, all right? As we were walking away. You're a doctor? She, yeah, I'm a professor. She's reaching into her pockets, and she's struggling with me. So we do put her in handcuffs because of that. So all right. you were in handcuffs because she so was reaching into her pocket. But this is no, how no, we after we already had no, 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 no. This is how Sorry, we, say They threw me down on the ground much after the reaching into the hands. So the reaching into the She's hands playing victim. She's playing victim. I had my earpods in my hand and I was trying to find my earpod case. And there's this whole back and forth about where's the earpod case? Look, let's look in one of my eight pockets and all this sort of stuff. Anyway, the pushing down on the ground happened later. It did happen after that, yeah. It happened after that. Did you apologize? Did you acknowledge? So I don't apologize for arresting her. No, just hear me out. <laughs> Do you want me to be untruthful? Oh. Or truthful? We want you to be truthful. Okay. So I don't apologize for taking her into custody, okay? I don't. I don't. And when she's struggling with me, I don't apologize for that. However, one thing that she wishes I would have done up front is to give her a little bit more time to explain what her thought process is. And I, I, I should give her more time. I do apologize for that. But for this, for actually taking her into custody... I they told her over and over to let go of the mic or she'd be under arrest. Let go of the mic or she'd be under arrest. They warned her over and over. That's enough talk. That's enough talk. Listen, do not apologize to woke people because they they want you to grovel. Grovel? Is that what it is? Grovel? Where you just, oh, yes, yes, and kiss kiss their feet? <laughs> wow, bro. Don't apologize for that. So do you apologize for throwing her to the ground for you? No. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
A lot of racial violence. There they go pulling that race card. She's going free because she's black. She's not going to jail because she's black. You can't call racism on this one. So, Dr. Woman, um, yeah, so do you see how just from the way that they received it too, and why this is well, status? Right? Well, I certainly understand that because, like, yeah, what I would like my ideal for this interaction would be for the person who pushed me down on the ground to feel bad about pushing me down on the ground, but you don't feel bad no. about pushing me down on the ground. And the other part of it for me is that, like, you acknowledge that for me, that what I wanted... The other part of it for me, that's some of their language, or if you hear them say, my truth is... Which means when they start saying that stuff, that means they're going to talk outside of reality, and they it like, like, men are girls and girls are men, and there's hundreds of different genders. That's their reality, and if you don't match that reality, they they hate you. That's what that's their language. It drives me cuckoo. I can't relate to. I can't relate to it. I'm old school. Up front is like more of a voice, and that what you say is that you don't regret putting me into custody. And what I'm naming for you is that if you had, I'm telling you definitively, huh? if you had given me more of a yeah, voice up front, you would not have put me into custody. You would not. If you had wanted to perhaps hear my story, you would not have put me into custody. You, you would not have the opportunity. You, you would not listen. have. I know for a fact. Just you didn't give her the opportunity. You would not have arrested me. Okay. And so, yeah, that still hurts. It doesn't, whatever. Get ready to so, put me on base. But thank you very much for explaining how I'm going to get the citation, you know. Yeah. Struck in, but like 40 minutes, 40 minutes of everybody's day. Um, and thank you guys for. What's your name? I'm Amadi. Nice to meet you. I'm Alicia. Alicia. Big screen. So River Table sent us a $20 super chat on Facebook. We, I mean, uh, PayPal. We ask people to send them through PayPal because YouTube takes like 30% of it. Says, Barry, man, I was just walking, walking, walking. And then out of nowhere, in the middle of the park, I inhaled and can't move now. Lots of laughs. laughs. I bet we know what you're smoking. That's my show. Listen, thank you for joining us. Smash that like button on your way out. It does force the algorithms to push this video into the recommendations and causes my videos to get more likes and reach more people. We re recently had a video go viral, like 70,000 views, and it's because you showed your appreciation by hitting that like button. And then I noticed, did you know over 30% of you watching my show are not subscribers? Yeah. Well, 30% of y'all aren't subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. And it would really help me out. Don't forget, I'm here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. where I stream for two or three hours. And that's where I really react with you in the chat box. Tonight, I'm not going to have time to get in the chat box, but it is great to see everybody there. Thank you for joining us. Peace, love, and never get busted. Michael's servers today so you never have to worry about being censored again. His contact information is in the description. This video is sponsored by my good friend Michael Wallace of Innovative Scaling Technologies, Inc. Do like I did and move your website to Michael's servers today so you never have to worry about being censored again. His contact information is in the description. This video is sponsored by my good friend Michael Wallace of Innovative Scaling Technologies, Inc. Do like I did and move your website to Michael's servers today so you never have to worry about being censored again. His contact information is in the description. This video is sponsored by my good friend Michael Wallace of Innovative Scaling Technologies, Inc. Do like I did and move your website to Michael's servers today so you never have to worry about being censored again. His contact information